जजमेंट राइटिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट जजमेंट राइटिंग इज नॉट ए मैटर ऑफ प्रोसीजर इट्स ए मैटर ऑफ सब्सटेंस हाउ Unless and until you understand now, suppose you write a criminal judgment. If you do not understand IPC, if you do not understand CRPC, if you do not understand evidence law, can you write judgment? And judgment writing is not about format. I tell you, for students it's not format which is important. For court it may be important. For a judge it may be important. And there is a performa in their court. They will do it. When you will go to court, you will do it. Here, judgment writing does not mean all that which you are thinking. Here, judgment writing means judgment writing means. I tell you at the outset, what judgment writing means? Judgment right. If you are asked a question on judgment writing, you take any side. I take criminal side. So, if I have to write judgment writing, if I have to do, if I have to attempt to question. Now, then you will see that there is you know, one para facts, uh, facts in one para or uh, two paras and then they, they write this side. So, how will you do? So, on the basis of this facts, I will try to find out the issues. The moment you start finding the issues, you will have to see carefully whether these issues are there in IPC, whether these issues are there in CRPC, whether these issues are in evidence law. If I am writing criminal judgment. So, the moment you have read the IPC, you have understood IPC, you have understood CRPC, then only you can tell me that whether this is issue of evidence law, CRPC or IPC. Now, it may be mixed issue also. It may be IPC, evidence and CRPC all. Maybe. So, first and foremost problem is issue finding. Whether it is of CRPC, whether it is of IPC, whether it is of evidence. Maybe then they have given some judgment on uh, CRPC. They may say that now see there is a case and in case the charge sheet has been filed and in this charge sheet there are five accused. When we have started trial, then we found two new accused. Now, whether this this two new accused can be joined as uh, now accused in this or not, at what stage it can be done, what procedure will be adopted. Now, obviously, this is a question of CRPC section 390. Maybe, now there may be another question that see in this case, a child was a witness. The child witness, the child witness is not a competent witness. That is what is written in the facts. Even then they have been examined and they have, they have been examined without oath. Now, can you convict the person only on the basis of child witness evidence? Now, obviously, this is a question of evidence law. Issue is in evidence law. We will talk about voyeur diet test. We will say that now child below 12 is not required to be examined as per Oath Act 1959. So, we will talk about all those issues. So, we understand that this is evidence question. Now, similarly, it may be of IPC. Now, culpable homicide murder may be there. The facts are there and then they ask you question whether it is culpable homicide amounting to murder, not amounting to murder, whether it is a grievous, whether it is a case of grievous hurt. So, if you do not understand the whole nuances of grievous hurt and culpable homicide and murder, can you decide the question? The answer is no. So, what I said in judgment writing, the first and foremost thing is issue finding. Then there is second question, knowledge of law. If you do not have knowledge of law, you can never write a judgment. Judgment writing is not about form, it is about substance. And the students are generally confused that it is matter of procedure, it is matter of uh, form, it is not matter of substance. I tell you, this judgment writing concept cannot be cribbed, cabined, confined as formal procedural matter. It is a substantive matter in the sense that you should know law. Unless until you know law, you can't do it. If I do not understand CRPC, if I have not read section 319 where the accused can be added, if I have not read IPC section 299, 300 very well, how can I write? If I have not read evidence law section 118 in particular competent witness where child witness can also come, void IITS, now oath Act which I just told you where examination of child below 12 is not necessary. Can I write the judgment? No, no, no. This is what is thing. Now then, what is the third thing required? See, this is what is uh, required in judicial services examination. And this is where 
maximum of students will have problem and will fail to understand the right area of the question. The issue finding, the knowledge of law, then if you know law, it may be that you, you are not able to apply the law very carefully. Knowledge of law is one thing and understanding of law is another thing. Understanding is concept building. A concept building may not be with many of people who have done LLB. Degree of LLB never, never, never will teach you law. You have acquired the degree, you possess a degree, that does not mean there is competence as far as understanding of law. And that is why when I read expert evidence in section 45 to 51 of Evidence Act, I remember that very clearly and carefully, now James Stephen said that expert does not require any degree. They required sufficient clarity, they required understanding. So, understanding of law is required so that you can apply law very, very carefully. So, application of law will be clear in your mind. Then I must tell you, as you have read the facts very carefully and you have found out the issue, similarly in giving answers, you are required, you are required to apply law to the factual situation, to find out the reasonable, the plausible, now the answer which is based on substantive arguments from your side. So, appreciation of the factual matrix is very, very important in your understanding. If you understand this factual matrix, you can apply law very well and you can write to a re you can reach to a reasonable conclusion and reason the decision and then your task is done. So understanding concept building application of law very important and then this application of law has to be in factual matrix. Proper reasoning based on law and logic. And then the final decision. But this is all dependent on your clarity of concept. It is not a matter of form. It is a matter of substance, judgment, writing, my dear friend. You must listen to me very, very carefully and must adhere to the idea which I have propounded just now. Is it clear? Thank you very much.